I want to jump right into uh, Demora Smith and your guest on your podcast. For those who might not have heard it, um, what are the headlines out of Demora Smith talking to you about uh, seeing his name in John Gruden's emails in the manner in which he was referred to? Bomani. Yeah, like I think a lot of his reaction is something that you could probably, you know, fairly easily surmise, right? Just kind of some outright. You know, I don't know if shock is even the right word, but just a surprise that it was there and just the thought and idea that he had to then call his family and be like, hey, this thing is going to be coming out. And I think that he was in a place not dissimilar to me where it's just like, this isn't, this is so randomly ignorant that it is not actually personal, but it's a window, it appears, into the attitudes of people who are in charge and the fact that they're willing to kind of bounce these things around um, as they did. And what he, said and i thought was a very good point is what will this trove of emails that 650,000 emails deep what would it give us an indication of when it comes to things like hiring practice of an nfl franchise or who else has just been emailing back and forth with these people like there's a lot that's there and whoever decided to let a little bit out has made this very difficult for the nfl honestly because now people want to see the rest well, I mean, now the chief uh, lawyer of the NFL is ensnared. Um, and, and you know, the New York Times had another story last night, the Washington Post as well. But these emails are, are from what apparently is another case that this is nothing to do with uh, the, the investigation of the Washington football team. Um, so the question is for Demora Smith is, is what now? What, what does, what does he do? Like what, what action does he take as the, the top, uh, leader of the players association? Well, the thing that becomes interesting about this is nothing of this actually has to do with the players in the players association. Um, this is an NFL matter and there's lawsuits involving Dan Snyder, everything that's come out thus far seems the central note on everything seems to be Bruce Allen, which I think is interesting. It isn't discussed um, nearly enough here. But I asked him, I was like, you say you want the emails released. Is that anything more than a request? And he really said that the only power they have on this is really just to request that they come out. If it happens, it will be because of an overwhelming level of public and media pressure. That's the thing that it'll take. And I'm honestly not sure that the NFL media is equipped to put that pressure off. Well, what about the concept, though, that this is people in power? And I'm sure there are, you know, this is not the only league for which this could be Jermaine Bomani Jones. But what about a Players Association chief saying, how, how does whatever attitudes that were bandied about in emails that we're reading um, actually affect players getting paid, players being employed, um, management teams at each team actually um, having diversity um, in, in practice as opposed to just uh, written uh, stenciled on the field of play. You know, like what, what about that concept from DeMars? Yeah, I, but I think it would then require somebody to file a lawsuit that then allows you to ask for the emails, right? Like the one thing about the investigation into the toxic work culture of the team the NFL did that investigation. The NFL has those. Now, I think the Snyder and Bruce Allen are entangled in some lawsuit, which may be where we're getting some of this right. other stuff right. um, that comes from. But it gives the players no real leverage to try to force anything. Where the NFL is going to get themselves in trouble is you probably should have put out a report about this toxic workplace situation when it came out rather than something oral you should put something on paper for people to come out with and i think they thought they put out a 10 million dollar fine schneider gave up day-to-day -day control of the team and then that would go away but uh-oh here it is and it's right back bomani jones here on the rich eisen show before we hit uh, other subjects uh, i want to re re rewind to the phrase that you used or the how you coined it that demora smith um the way that he was referred to in the emails by John Gruden was, what did you say? This is so ignorant as to not be personal. What do you mean by that? Like, what does what that I mean? mean is that if I personally were to read somebody to call me dumb and make some reference to my lips being big, I know that ain't about me as a person. That's just about me being black. Like this isn't, you know, it, it, this isn't particularly germane to who I am as an individual. So like, I recognize the disrespect that's present but there's nothing to make me look at myself as any less or anything like that just because somebody said a thing like that. But at the same time, that's the kind of thing people fight over whether your feelings are hurt or not. Sometimes it's just a matter of principle. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.